fireworks from the nation's capital. But we are here at McMahon Stadium. The Toronto Argonauts and the Calgary Stampeders with 2.20 remaining in the opening quarter, still scoreless. But Glenn, we've just had a, a key turnover here as Eric England has recovered a Henry Burris fumble. Yeah, Henry Burris has looked nervous for the Calgary Stampeders in the opening of this football game. He's had four overthrows already and just fumbled the football, turned it over to the Toronto Argonauts. But fans across the country really haven't missed anything yet because there's no points on the board. There's been a lot of penalties early in this game. I think both teams, well, at least the Calgary Stampeders are a little nervous. No, we were, we were clued to that other game too. There's Tom Higgins who makes his Calgary Stampeder head coaching debut. Former linebacker here in 1976, also an assistant coach. And Michael Clements, who has applied for Canadian citizenship. And his team, the Grey Cup champions, looking for their first win after a hard-fought loss last Saturday night at home against the BC Lions at the Rogers Centre. Tonight's game is available in TSN HD. High definition for picture clarity. Visit tsn.ca HD and call your digital cable or satellite provider. So the Argos take over the football at the Calgary 54-yard line. Damon Allen dumps it off underneath, and John Avery lunges to the 46. Avery, the starting running back tonight, in place of Hakeem Hill, the rookie who got the start against the Lions. Of course, to remind fans, John Avery was part of last year due to injury, came back and is now healthy and ready to go. He had a couple problems that weren't related to last year's injuries in preseason. Hakeem Hill started the year last, last week versus the BC Lions. But it'll be John Avery in the backfield for the Argos tonight. Saw him take off on an eight-yard run earlier. It's second and three. And Allen to pass. Reverses his direction and throws downfield and has an open receiver at the 22-yard line. A catch for Arlen Bruce. Difference between Damon Allen now in year 21 than Damon Allen in year four or five of his career. Damon Allen would always have taken off and run with the football in that instance. This time, he shows patience. He comes back to the outside, and by the time he gets out there, number five, Arlen Bruce has worked himself back to the football. Rule of thumb, deep guys when the quarterback scrambles come back, short guys go deep. Four catches for Bruce last week, but there were four or five drops by the Argo receiving core that cost them that game. 23 yards for Bruce, a pump, and Got now it. a wide open man in the end zone, and Tony Miles does hang on. He turned it into an adventure, but it's a touchdown. Well, he caught it three or four times. But he'll only get credit for one touchdown catch. Nice pump fake, a double move by Tony Miles on the outside. Damon Allen, you're gonna watch him do the old pump fake to the right. He looks right at Tony Miles, pump fake there. Now he's going up over the top and look at a wide open Tony Miles, number one receiver in the preseason. Miles catching one, two, three, four, hang on. Well, he's just, he must have heard that Ottawa was pretty exciting in their comeback win against Montreal and tried to just make that one a little more exciting than he had to. Prefontaine adds the extra point. Miles, just a couple of touchdowns last year. Of course, an All-Canadian in 2003. So the Argos strike first here at McMahon Stadium. The major score coming with 30 seconds to play in the opening quarter. Important game for the Toronto Argonauts who lost by seven to the BC Lions.